Have you ever heard the phrase, just throw more strikes? Well, I've heard that tons of time when I was throwing by fans, coaches, teammates, and it gets frustrating. And you feel like, all right, I'm doing everything right with my mechanics, you know, and you just don't know what the solution is. Well, today we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about why it isn't always your mechanics. We're going to talk about why you're giving this hitter so much credit. Why are you trying to paint on the corners? You do not need to do that. If you have the ability, fine. You can be Greg Maddox. There's not too many of those. Attack hitters, and we're going to figure out how you can do that today. What's good, everybody? It is me, Percy Garner, former Major League pitcher, and I'm trying to help you become the best pitcher you can be. Uh, if you like the content, if you like these live streams, if you like these pitching tips, uh, please give me a like and subscribe. Uh, we've been growing slowly but surely. Appreciate the support. Uh, but I want to make sure I get right into today's video. Today, we're talking about commanding your pitches, throwing strikes, but from a different angle. Yes, we had some videos about pitching mechanics. Uh, yes, those, that is important. I'm not saying that isn't important, but a lot of the times um, it's not muscle memory or anything like that that is messing up your mechanics. It's not lack of practice. Um, it could be the problem that I faced, and that's just fear. And fear could be a couple things. It could be you think maybe the hitter's really good, you think maybe, you know, you're not any good. <laughs> you could think that, you know, it's really hard to pitch and, and hitting is easy. Or uh, it could be a, 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 any amount of, uh, of things, uh, pitching and, and hitting. But you have to realize, you know, I'm going to make a blanket statement here. Hitting is hard. Pitching is not as hard as hitting. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Hitting is hard. That is why the best hitters get out seven out of 10 times. You have to play those odds. Later in the video, I'm gonna get into a quick little story uh, where a coach pulled me aside and kind of changed my outlook on baseball. I will get into that, but before, uh, I just wanna reiterate, pitching mechanics are important, you know, uh, but our fear and our mind can throw off our pitching mechanics. We could practice all we want. We could go through a whole bunch of pitching drills. We could throw a bullpen and, you know, fire in all cylinders, hit our spots, throw our pitches for a strike, throw them where we want them. And ultimately, the most important thing is what we do in the game when that batter steps in. And I've seen a lot of people, including myself, attitude change, execution change, just because they're giving hitters too much credit. They uh, have no confidence in themselves. And they just think what they're doing is difficult. Like they haven't prepared at all. One thing I'm going to tell you, which I'm going to talk about pretty much every pitching tip video uh, that I have, is preparation will give you confidence. So step one is just to do as much preparation. Go through the routines you need and prepare yourself for the game by knowing the other team, what type of hitters they have, and do all the scouting report. I don't, by any means, I, I want to say this again, none of this is taking away from normal baseball preparation, okay? But, like I made a couple videos ago, the mental part of baseball is very important as well. So, the next thing I want to talk about is just how important, you know, training your mind is and working on your mind. Um, like I said before in a previous video, we can do whatever we want. We can be in the cage. We can be throwing bullpens. Uh, but if you're not either deliberately practicing the way you should be, like our last video, or if you just don't have any confidence that you can do anything, uh, you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to compete. Okay? And when I give pitching lessons, one-on-one -on -one lessons, the main thing I want my clients to, to realize is, look, we're, I'm not expecting it to be perfect, but practice is practice. We deliberately practice on the things we want to get better at and things we want to change about our delivery or whatever. But in the game, we compete. We do not worry about 
hand placement or anything like that. You do the practice reps so when you get in the game, the game is fun. Practice should be hard. The game should be easier. So let's get to the, the story. So I'm with the Indians organization. I had been with the Phillies from 2010 to 2015. And, you know, I struggled uh, with command, uh, with confidence, all the things. And, uh, you know, I, I envied the players that were less talented um, but were having way more success than me. And it, <laughs> it really struck a nerve. I'm like, hey, I throw this hard. I have great all speed, but I cannot seem to execute my pitches. And this is at the professional level. So for me, it's baseball 10 hours a day. So it wasn't for lack of practice or anything. Could have been a lack of deliberate practice, um, but I want to I want to focus on the, on the story. So uh, when I was with the Indians, I had just joined. Um, I think 2015 is when uh, they picked me up. I had been released by the Phillies in March of 2015, and the Indians picked me up in April 2015. And a funny story. I thought my career was over. Got a call from a 216 number while I'm at dinner with my family and. You know, I'm like, babe, what if this is the Indians just joking around? And, of course, it was the Indians. So uh, that was a great experience. But once we got down to business, uh, they just wanted to break me down and say, look, we want you to be an athlete. We want you to throw the ball and not think about anything. Uh, so those were the first steps. But then uh, a coach, you know, took me while, you know, other pitchers were shagging and we were going through, um, uh, we're going through batting practice. And he said, hey, look. I know you've had some struggles in your career, but we believe in you. And I want to walk you through batting practice, and I want you to see something that many pitchers don't see. So I'm like, what is this dude about to show me? And, of course, this is a memory, so I'm putting some words in his mouth to make the, the story interesting. But uh, we're walking, and he's like, count how many hits they get. Now, mind you guys, if you guys have seen uh, a major league or a minor league baseball practice, a minor league batting practice, or major league for that matter, Pitchers are being fed in perfectly. They're not trying to strike out the hitter, obviously, it's practice. And despite all the pitchers being, you know, hit to a certain spot or most of them being strikes and being slower thrown as opposed to a pitcher in a game, hitters were still getting out a lot. And some, you know, they may have had a base hit every once in a while. And, uh, but that really kind of sent off a ding moment in my brain. Like, okay, if these... BP pitchers are throwing what 60 mile an hour or something and it's you know it's slower they're not trying to get the hitter out and they're basically trying to find the barrel of the hitter um, or if the hitter's trying to work on something they're trying to work on that uh, that certain thing with the hitter and the hitter is not able to get a hit every time that's when I was just like this whole time I've been a moron <laughs> but uh, if you've been thinking like that you're not a moron you're just like a lot of pitchers and we give hitters too much credit. So I want to quickly talk about something that can kind of get you over this hump. So we, we understand we give hitters too much credit. But I was a pitcher who liked to strike people out. And then I realized, actually, I can't strike anyone out until I get two strikes on them. So once I started to pitch to, you know, contact, the Phillies would tell me this all the time, and it never registered in my brain. Pitch to contact, pitch to contact. And once I started to do that, my pitch count went down. I started getting guys out in two pitches, sometimes one. And most of my at-bats were four to five, uh, were four pitches or less. And it, it just was crazy. I was going deeper in the games. I was getting a lot of ground balls. But also, I was getting a lot more strikeouts. When you're attacking hitters, and you're pushing the envelope, and you're being aggressive, and forcing them to put the batter on the ball, you start to realize that there's a lot of foul balls in baseball. Foul balls are strikes. You get to two strikes, then you can try to get the strikeout instead of stri trying to strike out a guy with zero strikes on them. And my whole career changed. 2016, I ended up getting called up, and that was literally nine months after I had this epiphany. So I think it was very important for me to, for me to share this, and uh, you know, I hope these tips encourage you and, you know, I'm just very excited to, to share all the knowledge that I've learned in my career. So I'm going to continue to do that. Uh, I would appreciate your feedback. Uh, leave some comments down below on some things you might want me to go over. Uh, I'm going to continue to push out these live streams, preferably Wednesday and Friday. But some days I can only do it once a week. Um, I also have the podcast coming up, too. So I'm trying to schedule some new guests on there. 
And uh, also, if you think I should have a certain guest on my podcast, let me know now below. So, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. You know, we're almost to the halfway mark to 1,000. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate all the love. And we'll see you guys in the next live stream or the next video. Peace.